Between all of the news that we've had every single night, it's led to, I, I don't even know, if you don't expect buyouts to actually happen after news segments, you don't know how Yu-Gi-Oh! works. Well, 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 30% of you still have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. So this is, uh... I don't even know if I could say the disgusting is the right word, uh, but I mean, these collector's rares for Ars Arctic were so cheap. Uh, I'm actually just, I'm, I'm kind of happy that they got value, but man, oh man, you were, you were $20. And you know the sad part is, is people are paying the $40 price point today for these, just because they want to play the deck. I mean, the deck has a draw seven in it, which is, I guess, pretty good. Uh, Septirion here. I think this is probably the cooler card in the deck. I love this. This card looks so cool. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you shot up from 15 all the way on up to 30 bucks at the moment. Yep, not surprised about that either. And then, of course, the Grand Chariot. And these are only 20 bucks. A little bit cheaper. Regular Polaris. I mean, these did shoot up relatively decently. I mean, 7 8 bucks for these. This card was never a large amount of money as it was, and the fact that even like post buyout, it only really doubled in price. Uh, that's actually not horrible. Big Dipper coming in about six bucks right now. Uh, regular Centurions, three bucks. Grand Chariots, dollar two dollars. Okay, so everything that I'm seeing here is it's okay. All right, the lower rarity stuff calmed down, and it is kind of floating around right now. So. Very, very interesting to kind of see that, uh, at least where, you know, in most cases like this, these buyouts usually end up much crazier. So to see that these were, eh, I mean, still doubling in price, I'm used to seeing three to four X's around here. Oh boy. So, Unchained Support. How much damage have they actually caused today? Well, uh, just in the little bit of time this morning that this has had to really circulate here, um, yeah, people are really pulling that trigger in like ooh. I'll have to wait and see how those hold though I'm actually kind of curious about that Unchained Abominations well I mean these were already like eight bucks <laughs> I can't these were already on the up and up like it's just we just got a little bit more uh exhaust for the spike for this but yeah about ten bucks it's not horrible for the most part I like I said I tend to expect a lot of these things um, regular copies eight bucks these did push up. Uh, these went up to sixes. Regular Soul Rages from the 2020 10s are literally dollars. Anguishes are dollars. And the rest of this, once again, like your higher rarity stuff went up. Your base rarity stuff, very, very cheap. So good news, if you want to pick up some Unchained stuff, it's not going to cost you anything for the, the mid the low rarity stuff. But if you need the absolute highest rarity, you're going to be, once again, be paying for the better options here for that. It typically tends to happen. What in the world is happening here? Um, I don't... Why? Why? Who is spending $19 for this thing? So what is this? It's a Pendulum Dragon plus a Warrior type monster. When this card is used, somebody should change the attack of all face of monster your opponent controls to zero. Also for the rest of their own monster you control cannot attack. And negate the activated effects of monsters with zero attack. And then at the end of the damage step, if this card attacks, uh, an opponent's monster, but the opponent's monster was not destroyed. You can banish that opponent's monster. And we're just playing this just because it's a warrior and a pendulum monster. That has to be the only reason why we are seeing this go up. I, I can't think of it unless you've got like some odd eyes fusion applications out here that I've just missed over time, but I don't think that that's the case here. Uh, but either way, you need to be aware that this old Seeker Rare out here from Rage and Tempest has gone up. It it amazes me every single week when we see these things, you know, propel into orbit for literally zero reason. But all right. Uh, Gigantic Champion Sargas here. Well, uh, these are at 11 bucks right now, but that's not what really is amazing about this. It's down here in your view item history. Somebody bought 47 copies of this at $12. Now, don't get me wrong here. I mean, 
That's not a horrible pickup, but it's a pretty horrible large quantity of these to pick up at twelve dollars a piece. That's a what a five hundred dollar investment. That somebody was like, "Hey, you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll just pick up you know a large copies of Sargas." just to have them. I mean, yeah, you are floating at a nice, consistent $11 on these right now, and that, that's typically what you would expect for, you know, how decent this card is at the moment, but very, very interesting to see. So, our maze of memories here. So, how how are we doing on this set? You know, it's been a good, what, week, or half week now. Barons are underneath the $200 mark, which is very, very good, by the way. I'm very happy to hear that. Wake up your elemental hero. Um, 91, 94, $92 it looks like here for the most part. So those are those are pretty much maintaining, which isn't horrible. Uh, your Excel Synchro Stardust Dragons, uh, 87, 96, 87. Uh, your lowest price about, yeah, you're heading up to about the 89 to $90 mark for those. That's not bad. I actually really like those. I think... That is still one of the better cards in the set. Solemn Judgments, wow. $66 and down, down they go. Avermax is still holding at uh, $57. Uh, Black Cluster Soldiers at $69. Giggity. Uh, Guardian Chimera is also at $69. If you have not seen the Guardian Chimera from this set yet, I highly recommend it because it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I do think out of all of the CRs that I have seen in person so far, the Guardian Chimera blew the Baron out of the water. Like, I don't even think the Baron looks that good, honestly. Uh, boxes have fallen down to about the $63 mark now as well. Gate Guardians, 50 bucks, that's surprising. Teardrops at 60, or excuse me, at 43. It's not horrible. It's absolutely not amazing. Um, let's see here. Uh, get your, on your uh, marks, get set duel, 34 bucks, okay. Baron at 40 for regular copies. Photon Orbital's 27 bucks. Uh, I have a feeling that this Firewall, by the way, later in its life is going to uh, go up in price. They're at 25 bucks. Something to consider there. I uh, I do think if there's any sort of playability, Utopia is very cheap. Dual Academy is still cheap. $17 for the Spellbook of Fate. And the Synchro Stardust Dragon here is still holding about 19 bucks. I think this will also rebuttal later in its life, too. We just got to be very patient to kind of see where this actually spins on out here. But just a little bit of a heads up, at least in terms of everything for Maze. It, Maze is doing pretty decent. I, I will say that. I, I like where the set is holding its value right now. And it's very, very interesting to see. Where you go? The Guardian Chimeras have gone up, too. Those are 12 bucks, Huh. And then we saw a market price at 80 or excuse me, at $11 for the Black Luster Soldier. So... Pretty good. How do you have a damage to wake up your elemental hero? Did you roll it over with your chair or something? The Solemns are at three bucks. Okay. Very, very interesting. Uh, let's see here. The Dijin Buster. You know these are still like seven bucks? I don't know how many people like pay attention just to the the rank tool toolbox shenanigans, but yeah, you're still sitting at, you know, six, seven dollars for these post shipping. I find that very, very interesting just for like the long-term value of this. Hopefully Konami will eventually reprint this into hopefully a hollow version. It'll be very nice. Hatron Age, just a little bit of a uh, little bit of a peek in here. Uh, these have gone pretty bad. Still nine bucks for these things. Wow. You know, it amazes me that both copies of the hollows. Yeah, advent calendar copies, five bucks. Yeah, these, your hollow versions on all of these have gone up very, very strongly. That is so wow. Um, I guess heads up, if you have hollow, uh, hey, Trinades, you have made your money. Like, Snowdrop Rikas, wow. You know, people are actually shocked about this. And I, I am a little bit too, I mean. Um, but once again, I mean, when when you reprint the whole rest of the deck, um, as everything pushes, you know, like this pushes down, something's going to go up. Happens every single time with the market. Um, but yeah, you're $22 right now for these. Like, holy moly, man. Like, I actually can't believe that. Ah, oh, that is disgusting that people are actually paying that. Well, that is all I have for today's market, everybody. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. 
And yeah, what an absolute train wreck as per usual. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.